So we have what's called an improper integral. Uh, the reason it's called an improper integral is because we have infinity here. So the upper limit of integration is infinity, and that makes it improper. So solution. This is a really easy example, so uh, it's a good first example. So how do we do this? Well, first we have to integrate. Now, recall, you have the integral of e to the bx dx. This is just e to the bx divided by b plus a constant. Now, we won't write the constant here. And in all of this, of course, b is not 0. So we have the improper integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative x with respect to x. This will be e to the negative x. b here is negative 1. So we just divide by negative 1. And we're going from 0 to infinity. So, so far, nothing has changed. We're being a little sloppy, and we're kind of treating these as numbers even, even though they're not. So this is negative e to the negative x from 0 to infinity. So all we did in this step is I just put the negative 1 up, up here just to make it cleaner. OK, now what you do is you replace the infinity with a variable. Usually you use b. So this is equal to, let me write it over here, equal to the limit as b approaches infinity of negative e to the negative x. And we're going to go from 0 to b. See how we just took the infinity, replaced it with the b, and then we just let b approach infinity. Problem solved. All right, this is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity. And now we take the b and plug it in. So we get negative e to the negative b minus parentheses negative e. And now you plug in the 0. 0. OK, so to recap, once you integrating is pretty easy. So once you get here, you just replace the infinity with the variable. Usually people use a, b, or c. I use b. And then you let b go to infinity. Then you plug in b first. We did that, and we got this. And then you plug in 0. We did that, and we got this. Let's keep going. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches infinity of negative e to the negative b plus 1, right? Negative and negative is positive, and e to the 0 was 1. So if it's not clear what the answer is, let's go further. This is the limit as b approaches infinity of negative 1 over e to the b, right? Just to move it downstairs, when you do that, it makes the exponent uh, changes sign plus 1. At this point, I hope it's clear. If not, let's talk about it. As b approaches infinity, negative 1 over e to the b, this approaches 0, right? Because e to the b is getting really, 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 really big. So this term here is getting really, 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 really close to 0. So this is 0 plus 1. And so the answer is just 1.